after the Columbia accident, imagery became very critical to the success and safety of the space shuttle program. And in the aftermath of the accident, it became obvious that we needed better cameras, better telescopes. I'm sure um, folks that have used long telephoto lens recognizes that when you zoom in, it gets, it's very difficult to keep it stable, that it gets very jittery. Well, our lens is an 11 inch telescope. So imagine a telescope bouncing on the nose of the airplane. You have a very small screen to look through um, and a very, very small section of sky that it can image. And that is your only point of reference. So it is orders of magnitude. You also don't necessarily have the sense or situation awareness of exactly where it's pointing because you're not holding the camera itself. You're remotely operating it. So that's you're once more removed from it. So it is, it, is a, it is a challenging system as it exists right now. We have a good idea of where it's going to be. The issue is where are we as a crew going to pick it up when it breaks the horizon and then having the airplane in the right position so that the sensor is looking in the right piece of sky as it breaks the horizon.